Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Today's topic, oh, is an age-old one. <laughs> I've been addressing this for 40 years, and I actually had a video up that I thought, but uh, it turns out the audio was so bad, I took it down, uh, and I haven't addressed it in a while, so I figure this is a great time of year to hit it. It is spring, and if you've been outside, like uh, you, I'm sure you've heard the song. Everybody's singing. The males are getting feisty. They're doing... Uh, they're setting up territories or chasing each other around. And one of the things that occurs every year, and I get, I, I cannot tell you how many times I've addressed this topic, is why are these silly birds attacking my windows? Do they want to get inside? Are they trying to come in and, and, and get food? Trying to tell me to fill their bird feeders? What are they, what are they doing? Here's an example. I just want to show it to you. I can't talk during it, but I'll play this quick little video. Now, this bluebird is not trying to get into the house. They're not trying to tell you anything. What they're doing is they are seeing their reflection in that window. And as smart as birds are, they don't know their own face, their own reflection. They don't know their own voice. So that male bluebird he is seeing in your window is driving him crazy. And he is trying desperately to run that bird off. And he cannot understand why that bird isn't leaving. Okay. I'm going to put up this picture of the back of my house. And I'm not, not to see the bird bath and the, the birds on it, but I want you to look at the two windows, sets of windows in the door. Look how you see that perfect reflection of the trees. Now, there's two different kinds of window collisions. And I have videos on the deadly kind which are the ones that birds are flying across your yard. They see those trees in your windows and they try to fly into them and wham, they hit and they get killed almost all the time. Sometimes they're lucky enough, they're only stunned. But the bird, the one we're talking about today, and I'll put a link to that video and how to uh, help you prevent that from happening in the description below. But what I'm talking about today are those birds that are, oh, sitting on your car mirrors and attacking your car mirror or like that bluebird sitting in front of your window and repeatedly flying away. And there are many, many species who do it. Cardinals are famous for it, male and female cardinals. Uh, robins as well, female, male and female cardinals. They're, they're, and there's several other, the bluebird, obviously, I've had orioles do it. There's many different species. Of it. And so the, the question, of course, becomes, what can I do to make them stop? Because they generally start at sunrise. And there's a couple of things that influence it. And if you're lucky, the first one, which is the sun angle on your window, will change as the sun angle changes, and it takes away that mirror image, and all of a sudden this male bluebird or this male cardinal has gone. Now, obviously, your car mirrors, <laughs> that's a different story. They're, they're there, and, they, and this guy keeps fluttering up, slamming into the car mirror, and is sitting back on top. And, of course, he poops all over your car mirror and um, at, at, at our window at home. It's on the windowsill and everything because he is so preoccupied with that that other male or that other female in their territory. They, they are driven. They are absolutely driven to get that bird to go away. And unless we do something, uh, we, we can't do it. And, and remember, it, whatever you do has to be done on the outside of the window. Here's a great example of that. This, this cat is on the inside and it inches away from the bird at the bird feeder, but that bird at the bird feeder can't see that cat because of that mirror image it's getting. And I've seen birds banging into the window right in front of a cat's face. Now, they, they cannot see them. So whatever you do to make this stop needs to be done on the outside of the windows. Now, if this were a woodpecker hitting on the side of your house, we would recommend a rubber snake. Uh, the, the dangle there. And you can try that for the uh, for these birds that are attacking your window. Remember, this is love <laughs> and this is te uh, territoriality. Um, and that is more, it's a, a higher driving force than the fear of a snake, typically. Now, if you put up a, a rubber snake like we do to, to keep woodpeckers from sitting on your, hitting on the side of your house, and at, that makes that bird stop uh, banging into your uh, your window, fantastic. 
because that would be an easy solution. I can tell you that most of the time it doesn't work. The other things that we try, um, this is scare tape. Tape is a holographic tape that we dangle and it uh, it spins. You, know, you, you cut it in strips and let it hang it with a fishing line and let it turn in the wind. And, and that prismatic color can scare them off. Typically not against birds that are doing this. Same thing with rubber owls. Been around forever, a plastic owl, sorry. And, uh, that, you know, birds fear owls, but I have seen birds <laughs> that are so driven by that bird in the reflect, they actually land and sit on top of the owl. And of course, window stickers, which we really like, UV stickers for the window collisions, they don't seem to be effective. But the, the so keep in mind, what you've got to do is on the outside of the window. And covering the window is usually the really only true solution. Um, I had, they were riding around this time of year. I see uh, newspaper up on the outside of people's windows, and I know what they've got going on. Uh, another potential and, and thing we have we have found very effective is spray snow. Now this is uh, a stop bird attack, but basically it sprays snow on the left, and you have to cover. If you only cover six inches of your window uh, across, he's going to start attacking above it. And then if you only half your window, then he's going to hit on the half that doesn't. So, you know, window screens really uh, tend to be very effective, but just like that Bluebird video showed, that, that window had a window screen on it, and that bird was still seeing the reflection enough to want to attack it. Now, the liquid uh, UV on the right is, or is a marker and, and how liquid uh, UV light works, and that's how these stickers work in the previous one. And that what uh, what this illustrates is on the left, this is what those stickers look like to us. But to birds, they glow you know, that ultraviolet blue because they can see the higher end of the ultraviolet spectrum. So that works. And that's how these this marker does this paint, if you will. And a lot of people use that with like a little... Um, uh, Whatever you, you play a bingo, the little start that you do the bingo and use that to dab dots on their windows to, to break that image up. But know that if you, it, you, no matter what you do, if there's any window available to them, and I've had people cover one window and they move to the next window. But uh, again, the, with the change of seasons and the change of sunlight, you change that deflection and it, it it will hopefully go away for you magically because it can drive you crazy because they do start early in the morning. And I've read stories of people who, you know, work all night, get home. And right when they go to bed first thing in the morning, that's when the birds start hitting the window and it really drives. I understand that. But remember, you cannot hurt these birds. They are federally protected. And so uh, you have to work to find solutions. And it usually doesn't last long. You know, early in the season is the worst because they are setting up territories. Um, but once they start nesting, it tends to to lighten up or even go away and sometimes they may come back for a little bit and get it that again that reflection on your windows is the key to what they're seeing so one of the just to share uh, if you live in the southwest it may not just be cardinals and robins and things like that the road runners are known to attack hubcaps on your car a nice shiny surface so they can see the reflection and they'll bang on them and jump up and hit their chest on your on your hubcaps and it, uh, on my wife and I's honeymoon in Maine uh, many years ago, uh, we were uh, pulled off the side of the road looking out over the ocean. And this northern parallel warbler landing on landed on the side mirror of our car and started trying to attack that bird and its reflection is seeing there. So we literally thought we were going, oh, let's get a great picture. And we were being very careful. And next thing you know, we were trying to run it off. And then I literally had to pull off and drive away before it actually flew off the mirror, off the side of the car. That's how possessed they are about defending their territory against interlopers. So the it, it is, I, I can't tell you, in 40 years of plus of doing this, I, I can't even guess how many times I've taken this phone call and, and tried to help people uh, to a solution. So hopefully, you know, like I said, uh, it won't last long. Hopefully, you know, if you're willing to do the spray snow or cover your windows temporarily and on your side mirrors on your car, try a sock <laughs> at, uh, over, the, over the side mirrors or change the angle at which you park. And that can help uh, a little bit. But Usually it is that mirror that does it. And so you have to uh, kind of cover it up. So there are many birds that will do it. 
and they're just doing what comes natural to them. So um, it's, a, it's really a great idea for program. I, I can't believe I don't have it up on the YouTube channel before now, uh, but hopefully you learned and this will help you solve. And I'll put some links in the, the video below, the description below to help you out. Um, send in more ideas for programs. Give us a like, give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And if you do, ring that bell so you know when I'm on next. Until next time, let's talk birds.